The other day, someone asked me to draw the resonance structures for CH4. This is methane. So I want to talk about that because I think they might be a little bit confused about resonance structures. So the first thing we should probably do before we look at resonance is get a Lewis structure here for the CH4 for methane. So let's count the valence electrons up using the periodic table here. In this table, it's organized. Group 1 has one valence electron. All these have two. We skip the transition. Group three, also called 13, has three valence electrons. And then group four, there's our carbon. So carbon in group 14, sometimes called four, has four valence electrons. And then hydrogen over here, group one, like the elements in group one, has one valence electron, four hydrogens. So we multiply it by four, and we get a total of eight valence electrons for methane here, CH4. So now we can draw the Lewis structure. So we have a total of eight valence electrons here. We'll put two between atoms. That's going to form our chemical bond. At this point, we've used two, four, six, eight. We've used all eight valence electrons. We don't have any more, but carbon, that has an octet. It has eight valence electrons, and hydrogen only needs two valence electrons. So this is a good Lewis structure for CH4. When we talk about resonance, we're talking about a different way we could draw this Lewis structure, still satisfy the octet on carbon, and then make sure each hydrogen has two. So you could think, well, maybe I'll move these two over here. The carbon, that still has eight valence electrons. But now this hydrogen has four, and this one isn't even bonded anymore. There's no chemical bond, so who knows, right? So that doesn't work. There really is no other way you can draw this to satisfy the octets on carbon and on hydrogen. So we don't have resonance here for CH4. Let's look at an example real quickly where you would have resonance. So if you had the nitrite ion, this is NO2 minus, there are two ways we could draw it. We could put our double bond here, or we could have the double bond on the other side here. So in this case, there would be two resonance structures, and they'd be an average of these two structures. They wouldn't be switching back and forth. It would just be an average of these two structures here. So often when you have double or triple bonds, you should be watching out for resonance. So to answer the person's question from the other day, we only have one structure that we can draw for CH4, methane, so we don't have resonance. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.